What you doing, Tuxaroo? Hey, hey, hi. We've got a lot of things that we want to try to accomplish today, but before we do, I want to share with you today's sponsor, Athletic Greens. AG1 is a nutritional drink that replaces all of your multivitamins, your multiminerals, your prebiotics, your probiotics, your immune support pills, and a lot more in one simple scoop. AG1 by Athletic Greens has nine key health products working together as one. It's a daily nutritional drink that supports gut health together with fueling your whole body's health, impacting sleep, digestion, energy, mood, immunity, hair health, skin, and nails. It's made from the highest quality ingredients with the strictest manufacturing standards. It's gluten-free, has no eggs, no sugar, is nut-free, dairy-free, has no GMOs, no herbicides, no pesticides, no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, or sweeteners. I personally don't like to take vitamin pills because I almost always end up with an upset stomach and just feeling really nauseous, but AG1 doesn't make me feel that way. Marty and I have been taking it for a little while now. On empty stomachs, you drink it, and I haven't had any problem. I have been very regular though, which is also a very good thing. I also found their travel packs to be super convenient. You guys know that Marty and I went to CES in Las Vegas, and we just popped a couple of these in our backpacks, and away we went. We didn't have to bring the big canister. This needs to be refrigerated, um, which is great for at home, but this is super convenient to take with you when you're traveling. This is cold and flu season, so it is the perfect time to support your immune system with Athletic Greens. If you use the link down in the description below, with your first purchase, you will also get the vitamin drops. They are D3 and K2, plus five free travel packs to try on your trips. We want to thank Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to work. Welcome back to our very snowy off-grid homestead that we are building from scratch here in North Idaho. And check out all of this right here. Oh, you know what time it is? It's time to start plumbing. If you've been following along for a little while now, you know that we're trying to make a lot of progress so that we can start sheetrocking here coming the 1st of February. <sighs> we got all the doors and windows moved that we needed to move. So let me show you the water heater that we're actually gonna be installing in the main part of the house. This is our apartment above the garage. This is where we've been staying while we've been trying to finish up the inside of the, the main house. So let me show you. It's right here in the laundry room. Would you? This is the water heater that we're gonna be installing in the main part of the house. Not that exact one, that's gonna stay here, but one just like it. So we're gonna get that venting in and then start plumbing up the new bathroom. Let me show you, get you some context, and then Jules and I will get to work. We just came through that door right there. That goes into the apartment above the garage. We're trying to go through here. This is the loft. This is actually where we lived in the beginning when we first started building this thing. Before we had the apartment above the garage, we kind of did it in a crazy order. But this was the love loft. This was Jules and I's bedroom. So we cruise downstairs and we find, we find Jules. Hi, Jules. Just enjoying the fire and the kitties. Cool. Huh? So this originally was the living room and kitchen for our cabin. It only went to right here. See this line on the floor right here? Right there? That was the old exterior wall. If you're new here, that was the old exterior wall. We added all of this last summer. And so now that's why this is not insulated or anything because we just added that. So when we added that, we're moving the kitchen over to this corner over here because the kitchen used to be right here. We changed out the window, we moved the door, we expanded this bedroom. Now we'll cruise down here. And to here, got our lights set up. Ooh, this goes out to the garage. All right, so the, the door that we came through from the apartment is right up there. Now, the water heater, is gonna go in this closet right up there on that wall. We gotta get the venting up and out. Washer and dryer is gonna go right here. And right behind this wall here, this two by six wall, that is the new master bath. We come through the wall. This is gonna be a walk-in shower, custom walk-in shower. Toilet's gonna go right down here and the vanity right over there. If we come out of the bathroom into here, 
Then we come into a walk-in closet area through that closet. Kind of through that hallway area right there. We're into the master bedroom. There's a bathroom. There's a secondary bathroom right over there for guests and whoever's in that bedroom over there or whoever's in the love loft. That's their bathroom. Let's get started getting this venting done. If you have any questions about anything, make sure to put them down in the comments below. We'd love to answer your questions. And we're kind of just jumping right into a project, but I think it's gonna be cool. So in Idaho, anyway, we use black ABS for the drain lines and for the vent lines for like, you know, all of your plumbing, but for the vent for, the vent for the water heater is actually PVC, two inch PVC. So we've got all of our drains and venting for the drains. What we're gonna work on first is this. I'm always looking for that light in the shadow. Let's go see if we can get some vent from. First thing we gotta do is get the existing insulation out of the way so we can run these vents. Did you guys know that flies hibernate? They do. They hibernate in like clumps of uh, of flies. They find some spot. Jules will show you, man. They hibernate. Yeah, check out that right there. Those are all flies. Gross, 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 gross. Gross, huh? Yeah, and that's why like, if you've ever noticed, say in the springtime, there's like a ton of flies all of a sudden when your house warms up. It's like, where'd all these flies come from? They were hibernating somewhere in your house. Yes. Or right outside of your house. And then when it warmed up, they woke up and they came out in force. Gross, huh? Yeah, time for fly drops. <laughs> Jill's got our holes started here for where our vent pipes are gonna run into the section because they have to terminate outside in a, they have to have a certain clearance around everything. So we've gotta go into this part of the house and then out under the eave, two feet below the eave. And we can, hey, there's a kitty right there, man. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna get caught, caught. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Move along, kitties. All right, so no. we, gotta, we gotta cut this hole out here. Kitty. So right here we have a piece of our truss from the other side of the, the house, the main house. So we got to put one through here and one through here to get our venting out that way, which is actually really good. That came out great. Okay. Yeah. Fit. It'll fit, I think. Look out, Katie. Yeah. Okay, Jules. Now what? No, now we got to uh, we got to attach them. We'll attach them up here. We're gonna go ahead and mount the uh, vent pipe right along the rafters, and we'll just lower it down this way, you know, like as far as we need to to get enough slope on it. And then from here, it'll ninety over to there to where the water heater will be. I'm trying to fix my vocabulary for you guys that <laughs> are concerned about that. I usually say the hot water heater. But now I'm saying water heater. Conforming. Conforming. We should just put a two by four coming out right here at the level that we want. And then the other one can sit on it next to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Kind of make a, we can make a triangle. Let's do that. Let's get a piece of two by four, screw it to here at the right height. And then uh, we'll have a little shelf for it to sit on. Put it in a little blocking here so that when the when the vent pipe comes through it's kind of got a bit more stable there <clears throat> so we can strap it down to it and have it be nice and secure phillips and uh star bits they don't play well together so let's transfer our lines hello tuxaroo what you doing is he in there yeah 
What you doing, Tuxaro? Hey. Hey. Hi. All right, so we're going to need one piece that's, what, 55, right? 55 inches. There you go, man. Look at that. Not too bad. Dude, that came out awesome. Got a little off, but... Dude, that doesn't even matter. Not too bad. Perfect. All right, and then 49 and a half. Yep. You know? I wanted to work by the fire because I'm so cold. I don't mind the fire's raging. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm back and it already got me working. <laughs> um, today we are working on putting in the boxes for outlets in the house. We finished up Seth's old bedroom and now we're doing my old bedroom, which is turning into mom and dad's new bedroom. <laughs> we're such slave drivers. I know, right? It was like, tomorrow we're gonna wake up, we're gonna start work at seven. <laughs> like, oh dear. <laughs> Welcome to our world. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to our world. <laughs> this is the guide we're using just to tell like what height they need to be so it's all consistent and even. Um, so we're just putting up, it up against the stud, and then putting the box up against there, and then hammering it in. The it's the moment my life's gonna start. I'm drilling the holes for the electrical wire to run through. I went through and marked them all at the right height, and now I just have to make sure that the drill is in the middle of the stud. So two years ago or so, when we were doing it, like initially for the first time in this house, one time I was drilling and it was like, man, why is it so hard? Like it's not going through. Turns out it was in reverse. <laughs> so that's why it was so hard. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta strain something. Gonna open it. Uh, oh. Is it just frozen? I don't know. It's the first time it's been open, so oh. I'm working on the plumbing while these guys are working on the electrical. So right now we're doing the venting, finishing the venting for the uh, for the um, water heater. <laughs> Got Very it. Good. You were gonna say hot water heater. I was gonna say hot water heater. <laughs> But I've learned my lesson. It's called a water heater. I have all my minions at work here, guys. Check it out. Everybody's everybody's got a job to do. Seth's drilling holes in the studs. Sarah's putting boxes in. Jules is putting boxes in. And I'm really not doing anything. Oh, too hard. You've got the most important job. Oh yeah. You are like the superintendent that makes sure everything gets done properly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I'm working on the venting up there. Gluing right now, I gotta get some pipe and cut it to the right length and making it all work out. That glue smells so good. <laughs> Don't you think so? Can you smell what? it? It smells really good. I'm not sure. I know, but you're not supposed to hold the bottle right under your nose, Jules. I wasn't doing that. <laughs> Gotta get off some of this plastic so that Sarah and I can put the boxes, the outlet boxes on this wall. We pulled out our wiring a house book again, you guys. We get asked pretty often through email and comments like how we know how to do the things that we do. This is how, or this is one of the ways how we use these books. And this is actually a good one that helps us to figure out what we're doing today. Okay, Sarah. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> do you want the pleasure? Of what? The biggest fun project? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Pull the plastic off the wall. Oh, that'd be so fun. All right, let's start with this corner. Okay, here we go. This is fun. <laughs> Rip it off. It's all gonna come off. Look what you did, you're so destructive. Oh. <laughs> Good job. So 
there's so many like dead flies and stuff. Like I remember when we were up here hanging out, or even when we were living here, there'd just be like flies like buzzing around behind the plastic. Yep. They must have died. And the stink because, bugs too. Yeah, there's just lots of dead things in the plastic. <laughs> I need to go see what Marty's doing, and woo, it's like an obstacle course in here. And borrow a bit. Hopefully, he has the right drill. Hey. Can I borrow your drill? Yeah. Okay. Wow. The window. Okay. Yeah. Actually, it's even the right bit. Cool. Thank you. How's it going yeah. in here? Good. Just piecing together stuff. Here's the hole for the toilet. Oh, nice. And then uh, kind of piecing together the, the parts for the drain and the vent so I yeah. can get it and then drill the hole in the right spot over here. Am, That's coming along good. I'm really looking forward to it. Having this as our bathroom. I know, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> and our master bedroom. So you got all of this glued up here, yep. all the vents. Yep, all the vents for the water heater are put in. Sweet. And so that's good. Now we're just gonna do the drain pipes. Yeah. Hopefully we can get a good a good bit done today on those and then by the end of the week have all the plumbing done. Sweet. Mm -hmm. By the end of this video have all the plumbing done, hopefully. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I like your green pencil. You <laughs> changed. I don't know. I don't know. I found it, so I'm using it. That seems like one thing that we're always looking for: our pencils. Yeah. So Even have, though like, we have, really, you know, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say we have tons. Okay. Love ya. Love you too. Today, this time, choosing the state of my mind, yeah. We finished upstairs in the loft and now we're moving into the hallway. The first thing I have to do is take out or take down this sheetrock. This sheetrock was actually just put up to give Sarah and Seth a little bit of privacy. We kind of knew that we were going to have to redo it, but the fill cap on our air compressor actually like popped off and sprayed oil all over. So let me show you. All of these spots right here are the oil. So we definitely need to take these down and they will be redone. Oh, oh nice. Here we go. We got a lot accomplished yesterday. Let me show you the bathroom vent plumbing in here and drain plumbing. All right, we've got the vanity here plumbed in. It'll go down. We've got the uh, laundry plumbed in here to the three inch drain. It'll go down and go this way and connect to the rest of the plumbing over there. Our vent plumbing comes up, 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 over that way. And now we're actually gonna be cutting open the main vent for the house and attaching these two together. So the main vent for the house comes from the bathroom over here, comes up, and then it goes up and whew, up that way, up towards the peak and exits the roof. So what we're gonna do is just tie into this vent with this bathroom. So we'll have both bathrooms tied together plus the laundry. The kitchen will be on its own separate vent. I'll show you that when we get to that stage, but um, it's time to cut open the pooper smell. Yes, that's what we gotta do. Cut this guy open. So hopefully it's it's not that bad, but we'll see. We're gonna cut open the main vent line here so we can tie it into this T. Hopefully it doesn't smell too bad. Is this the poo-poo vent? It is. Ew, what is that? It wasn't actually sloped properly and so water collected in it. Oh no. Yeah, so I re-sloped it. Okay. So this is rainwater that came through the top of the vent, through the three inch vent and came into the... I was worried it was poopoo water. No, it's just rainwater. <laughs> I was like disgusted for you. <laughs> that would have been really gross. Do you want a mask or goggles? Uh, no, thank okay. you. No. I re-sloped it, but still, there's still a little bit connected. I think because this is, it comes up and then goes down right here, so. We'll see, but it's a good bit of water, huh? Yeah, it is. Let's just cut it. Wow. It's 
a lot of water. Yeah. Do you smell it? It should go up to you. No, I have no smells. No Good. yuckies. No yucky smells for Julie. Good. Well, perfect then. So now we'll be good with that. That won't be a problem anymore. Good. Another new day here on the homestead. Seth is not with us today. He has a snowboarding class today. So he is up on the mountain snowboarding, hopefully. Lucky him. I know it. <laughs> and you guys are drilling holes. Yeah, yeah, but we don't know what to do with this one. What do you think? Okay, so. Can't really get to it very well. You can't reach it from the other side? No. From this side over here? No. Already tried. I already tried, huh? You need these guys right here. Cool. Yup. So it's like an extender? It is. So you might have to like put it together once it's in the hole. It might be too long oh, until yeah, you get it in there. Okay. And then, uh, yep, then you drill the hole with that. Okay. And if you need like extra space, you can use that other funny drill. See what if it'll fit push? first. Put it together and see if it'll fit. Okay. Yeah, don't push hard when you get it started. Let it get spinning first and go really light. <laughs> Are you going the right direction? Am I? What's it say? So we forgot to end the video for you guys. We apologize for that, but we wanted to say here that we hope that you guys have a really great day and keep, keep smiling. smiling. <laughs> say hi to Sarah and Seth over there working hard on something. Hi. Good night, guys.